again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail here once again. You know, there's no product line that I can line up every product on the table here and say every one of these is absolutely the best. That product line doesn't exist for me yet. Uh, however, there are some product lines out there where I like a huge percentage, maybe over 50% uh, of what they have out and available to us. I've been going through a product line I showcased a couple days or maybe a week or so back. I'll try to remember to put the link up here so you guys can check it out later. Uh, Extreme Solutions, and not everybody knows uh, about Extreme Solutions at all. I really didn't, honestly, until maybe a year, less than a year ago. I'm going through their product line one by one, testing, trying them out on customers' cars. And there's one that really caught my eye, has my attention, as uh, I look for gloss just as you guys do as well as the balance of having uh, durability and protection. So this one here, I believe, has both. I'm going to showcase it today. And if you're impressed as much as I am, let me know if you want to see it compared against something, if you want to see it again. Do you want to see it compared against something we know has durability or has gloss or has both? Maybe put it down in the comments section, and you know, you know I'll put it together. So let's, uh, without further ado, take a look at Extreme Solutions Polygloss Spray Sealant. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal. It's a hybrid polymer sealant, spray sealant. It utilizes both organic and inorganic compounds to protect and give your car, truck, or motorcycle a fantastic look. Let's talk about the organic part of it first. That's Carnuba. That's going to give your car, truck, or motorcycle a nice warm glow. It'll boost the gloss, give it the gloss you're looking for. The inorganic compounds are going to be modified silicates, which will provide durability to the protection. Also bumps gloss as well, and it gives it a little bit of resistance to bird droppings, bug splatter, residue, and detergents. We're going to test that in just a little bit. How do you use it? It's a little bit unique. While the car is dry, um, you know, right after a fresh wash, grab a microfiber, make it wet, wring it out so it's just damp, not dripping wet, and I'm going to show application. Get the product onto that damp microfiber, not directly onto the vehicle, like some of the other sealants we've been looking at lately. Apply the product one panel at a time, working it into the wet surface. Keep massaging it until the, the product disappears completely. Grab a dry microfiber, follow up, making sure there's no high spots. We're going to see if this is a pain or user-friendly when it comes to application and removal. We're going to test the gloss. We're also going to test durability. Let's get to it. We have a test panel here. We have to get it ready. It needs to be washed, clay decontaminated, and at least a quick enhancement or an exfoliation. And then we're going to get the product up on here. We're going to do some measurements of gloss before application, after application, and even after testing its gloss and durability and resistance to chemicals. Preparing the panel or the body of your car, if you're applying this type of protection, preparation is key. We're going to quickly run through that. And to make sure it's stripped completely the way I like it. Let's get some gloss measurements before applying poly seal. Let's get well, let's get six or eight measurements here. One.
two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we have an area masked off for the poly seal, and we're going to write in here the average after those readings. What are you going to need for application? You'll need the poly seal. Shake vigorously, get that solution mixed up properly. One microfiber damp, as you can see, it's not dripping wet, has been wrung out. It's just damp to the touch, one dry microfiber. The panel has to be wet after a fresh wash. You can see this now has no protection whatsoever. With the panel still wet, the damp microfiber folded into four in the palm of my hand, I'm going to get the product. It doesn't take a whole lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. Two full squirts. Down onto the section you want to apply it to, a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three section, and work the product in. As you can see, I went a little overboard making sure the product was spread out evenly, but that's what it looks like. It has a little bit of a haze there. That's as far as you're going to get with a damp microfiber. Switch over to a dry microfiber and finish it up. That quick, it is gone. It has a fantastic scent. It's user-friendly, a great drying aid. Now, I want to put two layers on here. I always do two layers when I do any type of test. I'm going to make it wet again. You can see a huge difference from when the first time we had it wet and there was no protection at all. Instant beating. So this time, I'm going to show you application up close, as close as I can get it using the shop light, so you get an idea of how easy this is to use. A little bit more water. Again, fold it into four, damp microfiber, one, two, that's all it takes. Down onto the panel. See what that looks like there. That's as far as we're going to get it with a damp microfiber. So then you just put that to the side. Grab your dry one. And you're done. That's all there is to it. A nice warm glow. Pretty damn impressive. I can't wait to get the gloss meter back out and see how much it has bumped it up. But we're going to let this cure. Cure time is the best friend for a lot of these products. There's no indication as to how long this needs to cure, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a minimum of four hours at least. I have plenty to do, so we'll be back in four hours or so. Okay, we're near the end of the day. Let's check in on this. It's had well over four hours to cure. Uh, when we started off, we had an average of 91.4 gloss units. Let's take six readings now, see if it bumped it up at all, and if at all, how much? One, two, three, four, Five, and six. Okay. All right. The jump up from 91.4 to 97.6 is not only a huge jump, but it's a high reading to begin with. And, uh, yeah, that's very impressive. If you have been following the channel... Uh, you know we test for gloss as well as durability, and that is pretty darn high. That rates up there with some of the best. Next up, I personally want to see how the sealant does and deals with heat. And I'm sure that's an interest of you that live down in the southeast and west United States, Florida, Arizona, Southern California. Let's take this up to 225 degrees like we have the other sealants.
Okay, we're outside because we're going to test water properties. We're not going to go crazy with the chemical resistance test, but I did want to show you before we get started how much darker and richer the panel looks in that area that we used to apply the poly seal. Nice big difference out here. First with the nozzle set on mist. You can see the impressive contact angle. All right, let's switch over to gentle shower. Okay, very good, very impressive water behavior. I'm not gonna go crazy. If it makes it past two rounds, I would really love to see it up against another sealant. I'll let you guys decide down in the comment section. If this makes it past two rounds, what you want me to put it up against? With the gloss that it has, I'll really take, you know, any recommendations. Let that sit on there a few minutes, then we'll rinse. All right, so without even bringing purple power out here to take care of any type of residue, you can see it's not having any problems whatsoever. And there's no indication that it failed the heat test, so that's impressive. Everything with this has been impressive to me, and uh, I do think it deserves to go up against something of your choice. All right, round two. And you can easily see where the protection is. How it's fighting off the chemical. Okay, we'll let that sit for a couple minutes and then we'll rinse it. As you can see, again, with nothing to take care of any type of residue, it's having no problems. And I think this would be a tough product and a good one to put up against something. I'll leave that up to you. Again, this is Extreme Solutions Poly Seal. And for the final thought segment of the video, kind of a unique sealant. Um, you don't just spray it on the panel uh, right after you wash the car. You leave it wet, you grab a damp microfiber, spray, spray it onto there, and work it in from there, and then follow up with a dry microfiber. After trying it for a few cars, I, there really isn't many high spots if you take your time and follow up with that second dry uh, microfiber really bumps up the gloss, really slick. I didn't even test slickness, but I'll save that. If you guys want to see it up against something else, we're going to test all of that again and raise the temperature, see if we can find a temperature where it fails. Um, but it also really has that balance of gloss and durability. So if you want to see it again, let me know down in the comment section and maybe what you want to see it against. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.